Hello Pokemon fans, Mitch from Retro Stitch Gaming here, back again with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're having a brilliant Friday, I hope you're looking forward to a great weekend. Um, in this episode, we're going to have a bit of a change from the usual episodes, we're going to take a bit of a break from the Pokemon training, all the stress and strain that comes with it, and have a bit of relaxation and do a bit of sightseeing around the beautiful Celadon City. Let's have a quick recap of the team anyway, just for any newcomers. Welcome if there is any newcomers. We've got Baku, our level 25 Drowser. Jacob, our level 22 Meowth. Randy, our level 29 Nidoking. Holly, our level 26 Fero. And Leonardo, our level 32 War Turtle. Um, oh, Jacob has picked up an item yet again, so let's see what he's got. I hope you enjoyed the last episode. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it more than I did. It was a very frustrating episode. The route took a lot longer than it should have done. We got poisoned and paralysed a lot. And it was uh, very irritating on the whole, but at least we got it out of the way. For anyone who's not played this game, if you like, you missed out on it or you were younger and you're just getting into Pokemon if you're a bit of a younger age, this is where you can get your Eevee in this game. Just by going up the back of this building. It's in this room. You literally just walk in and steal it. I don't know. But yeah, that's where you get it. And the good thing about the area that we get it in in this game is that just a couple of doors down from this building is the Celadon City Department Store where you can get your Evolution Stones, your Leaf Stone, Fire Stone, Water Stone and Thunderstone. So you can literally evolve your Eevee into the evolution you want almost straight away. We've got Team Rocket hanging around which is always a bad sign. This is my trusted pal Polyrath. It evolved from Poliwell when I used a Water Stone. Pretty cool. We're going to make a quick pit stop in the front of the building that we just went to as we need to see this old lady here. If you play Pokemon Blue, Red and Yellow you'll know that to get into Saffron City you had to buy one of the drinks from the vending machines to give to the guards to share so they'd let you in. In this game that doesn't work. You have to talk to this old lady here and she will give you some tea and that is what you use to get into Saffron City. Obviously we won't be going there for quite a few episodes yet, but I thought we may as well get it while we're here. At least then we're prepared and ready. Let's make our way to the department store and do a little bit of shopping. We probably will still end up having a battle or two in this episode, but yeah, this episode is going to be mainly let our Pokemon have a bit of a rest, stock up on some items, and prepare for the upcoming challenges. Got some TMs here, we'll buy a couple. I don't know if I'll use any of these, but I thought I'll buy the good ones just in case. Brick Break, it's a decent move, so I'll buy that. So we could always get some fighting type coverage in our team. Secret Power, always a good move, so we'll also buy that. Attract, yeah, why not? I'll buy that, it can be a pretty decent move. Let's stock up on some general items as well. Get a couple of great balls just in case. We'll get a couple more actually because there's a Pokemon I'd like to catch in the next couple of episodes. Let's stock up on a couple of Super Potions just to be safe. Get a couple of Revives. I think we're okay for the other items. So that'll do. Let's go see what we've got on the other store, on the other um, floors in this store. It's obviously the biggest department store in the Kanto region. I think he yeah, teaches Kanto. We're not going to bother with that. As I really like Celadon City, I thought my question of the day for today, guys, would be if you were going to visit the Kanto region, what would be the place that you'd want to go and visit? Your favourite place in the Kanto region where you'd just have to go to? I'd like to go to Celadon City myself, but personally, I think the main place I'd want to go is Fusion City, as I just think there's so much there to see. You've obviously got like a zoo, you've got loads of wildlife for the Safari Road, and I absolutely love animals and wildlife, so I'd really enjoy that. You've got a beach to the south of the city. Everybody loves the beach, which if you just take a little short boat trip, it will take you over to the Seafoam Islands, which would be pretty cool to explore as well. Um, and yeah, there's a pretty cool gym there with a ninja in charge. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I think I'd want to go to Fuji City personally, but I'd love to hear where you guys would like to visit in the Kanto region and why. Don't forget to comment below um, letting me know. I'd love to hear it and we can have a bit of a chat. As always, I've obviously got some great answers again in the last episode. Um, we've just brought a polka doll as we'll need it later on. Here's where you can also get your evolution stones. All four of them if you had anyone in your team that you uh, wanted to evolve. Obviously if you picked up a, a bell sprout or an oddish they'd be a gloom or a weeping bell by now. You might have wanted to evolve them or obviously in the last episode I've shown you where you could get some pretty good fire Pokemon in Growlithe and 
um, Vulpix, depending on which game you're playing. So obviously you can evolve them with a Fire Stone, you can evolve your E there, and there's some other Pokemon that come up later on that you'd need the Evolution Stones for. There's quite a few in this game. Like the guy outside just said, he evolved his Poliwhirl with a Water Stone. You might pick an Execute up the Grass Pokemon, he needs a Leaf Stone. So yeah, you could evolve them straight away and get some pretty decent Pokemon. I wouldn't recommend it though straight away with most of them. I prefer to keep them as the Pokemon they are for a while, just because they can miss out on learning some very good moves if you evolve them early, guys. Just a, sh a warning there, but obviously you could always replace it later with TM moves anyway, but it's just something to keep in mind. I'm going to talk to this little girl, because if you give her one of each of the free drinks you can get out of the vending machine, she will give you a different TM for each one, but you have to give her a different one each time. She won't just give you them for free fresh waters. You have to do a fresh water, a soda pop, and a lemonade. And we've got light screen. I believe she also gives you reflect and safeguard. So like all your moves that stop status effects. Oh no, sorry. They they um, reflects um, stop special attack, doesn't it? And um, no, no, sorry. Physical attacks. Then light screens special attack. Sorry. And then safeguard, which she just gives us. That stops like you from. If, say, you use Safeguard, it will stop Pokemon from being able to send you asleep, paralyze you, poison you, that sort of thing. So, um, three pretty decent TMs, I suppose. Give her a lemonade as well and get the final one off her. And you obviously had that other floor that I didn't buy anything from. On that floor, you can get, like, all your X attacks, X defense, that sort of thing, which I don't really use. And then you can also get off the other gentleman there your proteins, carbos, calcium, which are really useful moves for when you're doing like your EV training and that sort of thing, but obviously I'm not going to be doing any of that on this playthrough as it would take too much time, and buying them this early in the game is a quick way to make your uh, trainer quite poor as they're very pricey. We're just going to make a quick trip out to the west here for, of Celadon City as there's something that we need to fetch. Here's a Snorlax sitting in the way, uh, which will remain there for a while. I'm just going to swap a Pokemon round and get Leonardo up near the top. I know he's uh, quite ahead in levels, but we are going to need him for this little area here. In this grass here, you can catch a Dodduo. If you don't have a flying Pokemon yet, Dodduo is a really decent flying type Pokemon. I'd recommend using them. They're quite good. Obviously, we've got a Fero, or you might have a Pidgeot or something else to go about. But yeah, Dodduo is a pretty decent choice if you're still looking for a flying Pokemon at this point in the game. Young couple Leer and Jets, attack Rapidash and Ninetales. That is a pretty decent... Um, team that they've got there but hopefully Leonardo is going to be able to take them out let's go straight for the hypnosis and Leonardo is going to go straight for the water gun um, I think Ninetales is probably going to be the more trouble out of the two so let's take care of the Ninetales first so hopefully we, these shouldn't be too much trouble unluckily he's confused Baku I'm hoping, uh, well, I don't, like I said before, I don't know when Baku evolves. I'm hoping it's going to be in the late 20s, so hopefully quite soon. I could be wrong, it could be the 30s. I'm keeping it a nice little surprise. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting, finally getting our hands on a Hypno at some point. Unless she's walking on the Rapidash as the Ninetales is asleep. So hopefully he's not going to give us too much trouble. But they've got some pretty decent special defense, these two, so the Water Gun isn't doing a lot of damage. But Water Gun probably is getting a little bit weak for where we are in the game now. We probably could do with a bit of an upgrade, if I'm honest. Hopefully we'll get something soon. Obviously Leonardo isn't too far away now from reaching his final form and my favourite Pokemon, as I tell you guys all the time. That should hopefully finish off this Rapidash. Oh, wicked critical hit, so we've made sure we definitely did. Now let's hopefully take out this Nine Tails without too much trouble. Oh, awesome. Baku's grew to level 26. That's good. Didn't learn anything new. We could really do with a new psychic move for Baku as well as Confusions. It's, it's still a, doing okay, but it's not as, uh, as strong as some other moves. We could probably do with an upgrade. Would you something like Psybeam? I don't know if he learns it. I never had one, as I've said. So, I'm hoping he does learn something a bit stronger like Psybeam soon. Or at least he snapped out of confusion, so hopefully he'll finish his 9 times off here. That did, like, no damage whatsoever. That's why I'm saying we need a, uh, we need an upgrade. Oh, great, 9 times is woke up. Confuse Ray on 
Oh, I'm back here. That doesn't matter. As long as it's not on Leonardo. Leonardo will strike next and put an end to this Nine Tails. Pretty decent team what these two guys have got, though. Pretty nice little um, battle. Bit more challenging. Some quite high levels. Hey, and Leonardo's grew to level 33, which is awesome. Three more levels to our Blast Dice. Yeah, thanks, guys. You put up a... You gave us a good challenge. Decent fight, that was. Well, now we're going to make our way west so we can get Fly. Oh, Baku's evolving. I was just saying I don't know when he evolves. Oh, this... Oh, awesome. Yeah, I wanted to keep it a surprise. And, yeah, that was a surprise, to be honest. I didn't expect him to evolve just yet. But I'm really excited about this. Really looking forward to having this Hypno. Testing him out, seeing what he's all about. Pretty cool Pokemon. I love his little pendulum and everything. Yeah, I'm really excited about about using uh, Hypno. See what he can do. Heard great things, so I'm really looking forward to it. Take him away from the top now then. I think I'll put Jacob at the top. As he is the lowest by quite a way now. We really need to get his levels up. He's another one that's going to be a surprise, as I don't know what level Meowth evolves. But, yeah, maybe it might be around the same level. Be a I'm going to keep that as a nice little surprise for myself as well. Oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone. I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. Oh, thanks. HM2 is awesome. She's also got a fear of her own by the looks of it, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this finally gives Pollet a nice upgrade as Pex just not really been cutting it lately. Quite a few of our Pokemon are in that transition at the moment where their moves are getting a bit weak and they could do a bit of an upgrade, but at least we've got a nice little upgrade here for Polly now. Yeah, we'll get rid of... Uh, we'll get rid of Fury Attack. As I said, I hate moves like that. So yeah, that's definitely going to be the one that's going to go. And there we go. We now have a Pokemon capable of flying us back to areas that we've been before. But the main thing is, it gives Polly a nice, strong move. Which is going to definitely come in handy in that gym battle against Erica. By far, that's going to be our main um, weapon in that gym battle. Let's head back into Celadon City and check out the last few things that we've not seen. We'll be leaving the gym for now. We'll leave that till last. Uh, we're just going to make a quick pit stop in some of these buildings. Here's some more Team Rocket members. What are you staring at? Get lost or I'll punch you. A little bit of a abusive thing to say to a young child. But what do you expect from Team Rocket? Really enjoyed hearing who some of your favourite like villain organisations were, as that was my question for the last episode. Obviously, I said Team Rocket were mine. But yeah, it was great to hear some of your guys' opinions. Let's check out what all the buildings we've got here. Chief, we just shipped 2,000 more Pokemon the slot prices again today. I'm guessing they're all stolen off trainers. Don't touch the poster at the game corner. There's no secret switch behind it. Right, well, obviously, that's going to make us want to touch that poster in the game corner. And we've got one more building here. Oh yeah, this bit, I remember this building. In Pokemon Blue, Red and Yellow, here's something that some of you might not know. It had the same layout as the Pokemon Centers in those games. So where the PC was stored in the original Pokemon Centers, there obviously wasn't a PC in this building. But because they used the same layout and obviously the same data or whatever to make that building, if you went to the same spot where the PC was in the Pokemon Center, you could still click on a PC there, even though there wasn't one there. So you literally just clicked on nothing and it was there. So yeah, an invisible PC. Pretty cool for anyone who didn't know. A nice little thing that's maybe gone unnoticed by some people for many years in Pokemon. Obviously we've got the uh, casino here, with the, well the game corner, where are we going to be going next? Oh, what am I to do? Someone stole our Sylph scope. The thief came running this way, I'm sure of it, but I lost sight of him. Where'd he go? Don't worry guys, we'll get back your Sylph scope. Here we go, the game corner. Obviously we've got the game co uh, the coin case a moment ago. For anyone who don't know, so that you don't have to splash out and pay for some coins, if you go around on the floor like so, like I've just done, there are hidden coins in here. There we go, there's some more. They're scattered all over. I'm not going to get too many, I'm just doing it to show you guys that they are in here. For anyone who does want to play on the game corner, I will play on it sometimes, especially if there's a Pokemon that I want to get next door in the prize centre. But for this playthrough, I don't need to, so I'm just going to leave it. And let's have a look what this shifty looking Team Rocket member's up to. I'm guarding this poster, go away or else. Rocket Grunt would like to battle, Rocket Grunt sent out Raticate. Oh, level 20 Raticate as well. So finally we're seeing a Raticate that actually should be a Raticate. Um, 
will Jacob be okay? Well, surely a cat's got to be a rat, so yeah, we'll keep Jacob out. Come on, Jacob, make us proud. Oh, critical hit again. As people will know who've been watching this series throughout, Jacob is like the critical hit king. He gets a critical hit constantly. Literally, near enough for every battle he's in, he will get a critical hit or make the opponent flinch. I don't know how he does it, but I love it. And I'm really enjoying using this new outfit on our team this time. He's got his zoo bat, um, but I mean, I'm going to swap. I am going to swap out just because he's quite low on health. He should be able to be a zoo bat, but just to be safe. So we'll go into our newly evolved Baku to try out my first ever Hypno and see what he's about. Obviously, he's going to sweep this zoo bat, so we're not going to get a true reading, but I just wanted him to get a little bit of a battle time in this episode just to show off our new, new Pokemon and another critical hit. Had a bit of luck with the critical hits there. We also had one against that the, the double battle, didn't we? Um, Leonardo got a critical hit, so we've had a good episode for them. Dang! The Team Rocket hideout might be discovered. I'd better tell Boss. Now, what did that person say? Don't look at the poster. So I'm going to look at the poster. A switch behind the poster. Let's push it. And we've revealed a hidden staircase, guys, which we're going to wait to the next episode to discover what's behind it. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. You know I really appreciate it. You guys are the best and I just hope that you enjoyed it as that's all I want to do is to entertain you guys. Don't forget to answer the question of the day which was what is your favourite place in the Kanto region that you'd like to visit or just somewhere that you like. Um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up please if you did enjoy as it would really help me out and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed so you don't miss out on the rest of this series and the other Pokemon content that we're going to have coming up and click the little bell below so that you can stay notified for future episodes. Thank you so much guys once again and I'll see you in the next episode.